Hello and welcome to my first ever Slayer Diary. I will basically just be going over what tasks I got and any drops that I got as well. Most of these tasks were on the Triple Slayer Experience Day yesterday. And so thanks to that, I did gain several levels. The first task I got was four Mithril Dragons. I didn't record any video for it, so sorry about that. But I did get one Chewed Bones drop. I think I got like a special attack mix out of that, but that wasn't such a bad task. That was not on the triple experience day, so wasn't a whole lot of experience either, but pretty short task. The first task I started the triple experience day with was a Blood Veld's task. I had 149 to kill. Most of this day I did spend in Fangzor's friends chat, at least most of the day that I was on. I wasn't on all that much due to classes, but Whenever I was on, I was in Fingers' French chat. On this task in particular, there wasn't a whole lot. For those of you that didn't know, the spawn rate was vastly increased, so basically it was just a few seconds to spawn. Basically enough time to pick up the loot and go back to killing the Bloodveld. So it was a, wasn't too bad of a task, and I only had 10k to go to a level anyway. So during this task, I did manage to gain a Slayer level, level 74. Forgot to vid the actual getting it, because I wasn't paying close enough attention, but there is the shot of the congratulations screen, so. The next task I got was 47 Gorax. I basically decided to cancel these. They aren't really worthwhile, and I had the points, so those were just simply canceled. After that, I got a Steel Dragons task. 66 of them. I do generally enjoy doing these tasks. They have the chance of dropping pretty good loot and specifically elite clue scrolls. Dragon plate legs aren't really worthwhile anymore. And they do often drop ancient effigies, which I did get one ancient effigy. I also got two level three clue scrolls, but I didn't pick them up because I always get 40k or something off them. So I got 15k once too. That was annoying. But basically, it wasn't really worthwhile for me to do. But I did get an Ancient Effigy, which I'll probably include opening that in my update video. It gained me quite a bit of experience and several different skills, so that was pretty nice. My next task, and the final task I did for the day, was 70 Black Dragons. And this wasn't a bad task. I do somewhat enjoy these because they are fairly high leveled. I have a chance of dropping a Visage, but... I haven't seen one from a black dragon before. Um, there weren't really any significant drops from these. However, they do give a lot of experience, especially on a triple experience day. So at the end of the day, I did manage to get yet another Slayer level. to get to level 75, which is really quite great. I also get to get pass from Curadel now which is fantastic because more points and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm sorry that this was kind of a short Slayer Diary. I didn't really have a lot of time to get tasks yesterday, and obviously yesterday was the day to do Slayer. My first task from Curadil, however, was a special task for killing Jad, which is great because I do want another Fire Cape. Hopefully I can still do it. If I get several of those, I'll probably make a... Jad Slayer task video or guide type thing. So do expect that in the future. But on Sunday, as I said, on this past Sunday, I'll probably be releasing an update video. Hopefully I can get some more levels and put those all together. And other than that, I'll have the guides out for the Dominion Tower next week. And thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.